Hey guys, this is Josh from CollectionDX.com here with another review of another JM Bricklayer set. This is the City Architecture Coffee House set. It's a coffee house. It looks like it's got some cool features from the what I've seen online. Boxes, you know, typically fine, but the, the photo, this is a little out of focus. Uh, so it's not the kind of the usual amazing quality photo that they're using on the front. It is a less expensive set, so let's take a look at it. All right, so that's a lot of back parts. Here's the, the book. The book looks pretty good. Um, usual kind of assembly instructions, that's fine. But there was also this thing, and I'm really curious to what this is. It, is this gl gloves? I don't know what this is. Finger. I don't, what, what are these? Let me see what's going on here. So is, oh yeah, protect your fingers. That's, uh, I don't know why I would need a little finger mitten for this set, but that's, maybe it's cold. That's weird. There's also a little um, assortment of different sets and coupons. Oh, forklift, off-road, sports cars. That astronaut's pretty cool. It's a train. Oh, and they're two-sided, so there's really a lot of, 20% off discounts and stuff, so that's cool. All right, so there are bags labeled one, two, and three. So basically, all the bags for one make one, all the bags for two make two, and all the bags for three make three. Make That makes sense. Interesting though is uh, there are stickers, and they just sort of like tape them to the page of instruction, which is kind of an interesting way to go. All right, sounds good. So here is the completed uh, coffee house or coffee home. Now here's kind of the thing when you get uh, you know products from China is uh, coffee. So there should be another E there. And the box says coffee house, but this says coffee home. So I wonder if there was like a translation error because all over the place it says coffee home. And even in these, these little windows, it says coffee come, C-O-M-E. <laughs> so that's, uh, so there's a little language barrier there, I guess, but um, overall, it's a pretty nice set. It's a nicely architected building with a lot of windows. These windows are kind of a pain to pop in. Your thumb gets sore after a while. There are so many of them. Um, we'll focus on the outside here for a minute. We've got a nice sort of patio looking tile, some plants outside. We have a little, um, this is on a little rotating bit so you can position it wherever, but another plant stand. Uh, and I liked this effect with the kind of the vines climbing up the, the walls. On the back, it's pretty, they did some like, you know, popped out bricks to give it some texture, but it's a little inconsistent in its usage. And then there's this one piece here that forms the shelf inside that they should have made that white, I guess, right? There's a few mods here that I had to do and I'll explain why. Up top you have, you know, some skylights up there and you have this part, which there are no windows and this just sort of comes off and rests here. Uh, not a big fan of that. I would rather there were, were panels there, you know, but okay, we'll, we'll go with it. It is an interesting looking building. We can look inside it. This piece here, it just sort of acts as a uh, holder to keep the two pieces together and it opens up very nicely. So let's look at the inside. So inside, well, we'll start on this side is you have a little seating area with uh, some cups of coffee, uh, a whole uh, a tree, some artwork, a clock, kind of cool. Uh, over here is the uh, kind of the counter. And you can see we have some pastries in a, in a little jar. We have some milk, a little sink, a coffee machine, a blender, 
some stuff on the shelves, a uh, menu board, uh, another sort of sign that doesn't, um, doesn't cough for E with one E. Uh, there's the cash register, um, another coffee, and this cool record player, uh, and another seating area. So this top actually comes off, and we can look inside. It's designed to come off. Let's just move that for a moment. And um, you can kind of see better, maybe better, inside the coffee house. You have some, you know, so it's nice. You could probably get a couple of mini figures in there. Uh, but I really like this record player that has the uh, has spare, has, uh, wait, hold on. some spare records that you can put in. Uh, this does spin, and you can put the arm down on the record. So I thought that was a nice touch. So this build does use the, what I've been told is the, the snot method, the studs not on top. So it gives you um, essentially, I mean, there are some studs here, but there, it's essentially stud-free sort of construction for the, the, the finished surfaces, right? So, you know, you have a lot of solid uh, walls and, and walkways and things with no um, no studs exposed. So that is kind of fun. I'm learning all about the, these building techniques all the time. Door opens, but it does get sort of stuck a little bit when you close. It's not major, and you know, but it's it's nice. Uh, yeah. So overall, I mean, I enjoyed the build. It took me a little longer than I thought. But, uh, you know, it is, uh, you know, a lot of pieces. Uh, how many pieces was it? Uh, 1,512 pieces. And there was a whole bag of parts I didn't even need, a bunch of white extra bricks. And I don't know why, but they were there, and I used them. Another thing that is cool about this build is it has a light-up feature. And all you have to do is turn the switch on here, and it lights up. And it looks fantastic, lit up all the windows. However, uh, you know, I was, I'm building this, I'm waiting for the place for it to tell me where to put the lights in. And then you get there, and there's a page that says, uh, you can DIY the lighting decoration by yourself. So, <laughs> kind of like, we gave you a light brick, figure it out. Uh, unfortunately, I figured it out, and um, it looks great. Uh, so, you know. I could probably secure these lights a little higher to make them like the wires themselves out, but the the lighting does lend a wonderful um, luminescence to the whole kit. It really is uh, spectacular in that regard. So that's what this whole um, this whole box is that I had to kind of. I would have liked to have built it into the build, but uh, that was the best place I could find for it, um, and. That's where some of those extra white bricks came in handy because I was able to sort of reinforce this area a little bit. So, yeah, I, you know, I had fun with this. Uh, the quality build, the parts, the only parts that were a little difficult were the windows. Popping those windows in were a little bit of a challenge. Um, they all went in, of course, and it was fine. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I do think that they should maybe recruit an, uh, an English native English speaker to kind of check over the decorations if you're going to put words on these. But uh, otherwise, it's, uh, it's a pretty fantastic set. So thank you again to JM Bricklayer for the opportunity to review this set. Um, if you want one of these, there are links in the description and uh, or you can go to their website. So uh, this has been Josh from CollectionDX.com saying thank you very much.